Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to show you this thing called, uh, if you can see, Arch Linux GUI, right? So you probably know that uh, there are like, uh, you know, Arch installed in like, instead of Calamars, if you install Arch iOS and then if you use Arch uh, install, it basically gives you all that stuff, right? So that's fine. But there are people who I saw, even like in my comments, I used to see like, okay, there are people who still like, doesn't get to that point to like download the arch iOS and then uh, put arch iOS and then go to that even if you do that still you need to download you know uh, packages from pacman and then get it to boot right so uh, many people couldn't do that so uh, i found this thing called arch linux gui recently and i wanted to make a video basically what this is like uh, this gives a gui for arch linux right and i have installed this in my machine and actually i wanted to install bspwm on this one right this is a uh, lenovo v14 right wanted to install this uh, arch linux gui onto this one so wanted to show you how that goes and i'll show you that uh, this is arch right if i do neo fetch right sorry for my one hand typing anyways you can see that arch linux right whatever it is blah 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 so and also i'm using this cookie because uh, actually i sometimes not sometimes frequently actually use uh, android development i mean do android development that's why i need a like i need to use this thing right so that's why and this is KD, KD by the way but i'll install bspwm on this one and i'll show you how that's right now actually i downloaded the iso from this side and there this is their website right uh this is the download section in the home if i go home okay yeah so this is home of the uh, like website and it's kind of uh my initial reaction was like okay uh, I, i'm not sure how this will work but when i install and currently i'm using it as my primary machine so it's pretty good and uh, you can actually trust on this that uh, this will not be any stability issue right so this is their website and if you go to like download section you can download various uh, sections for example we have plasma gnome xfc cinnamon i3 bsp and zen right so i'm currently installing this bspwm right and I'm using from OSDN and I think it's done right uh, yep it's done so what I'll do I'll just take my uh, you know this thing and I'll just put this over here come here and I'll set this up right so that you can also see right? and this is the pen drive I'll just put this here right? and I'll try to boot up actually right now uh, it is installed on Linux Mint right but I will install uh this one arch linux ui so i'll just go to board just wanted to make a video and i literally literally don't have any idea about content so here i am and uh there are two things right so recently they have this like a copy to ram and the other one is like a just normal installer right because this is a uh, legacy not legacy but uh it's a that uh bios normal right mbr one so i'll just go with this normal installer but if you have gpd or like uh uh, GUID one or you can UEFI then you can definitely go to like use RAM also doesn't matter basically to be honest you can use any of them I'll just not use the normal one and it will boot into that uh, also it has calamus by the way right so if you're a normal guy or like um, don't want to get into like uh, setting up the arch from like arch installer and like whatever and then setting up your DWA BSP or any like desktop manager or any window manager I think you can just go install this and do it right but generally if you do it on your own right that's like the best way because you get to learn you get to understand and you get to understand what is happening behind the scene and this is the initial first boot and i'll just show you here and what i'll do i'll just show you if you do control enter right this will like control s will come up this one right this is the terminal st okay so you can just do anything of that but what i'll do i'll go to okay, by the way they are using d menu right and i'll show you one more thing quickly that let me go to that side so basically they have some commands and i'll just show you what are what they have so this comes with vim kitty pycom rofi polyver fay paru and better lock screen and then they, they these are the basic shortcuts right if you do mod enter then it opens it uh, your kitty one and close window whatever the basically basic uh, configuration files you'll find there so accordingly right so this is the bsp one right so what i'll do i'll just go to you can just 
uh, also you know control d and this will go up so come you know if you do this windows right this one plus d this d run menu will open up and here you can actually do go to this install arch linux go and available networks and connect with the network okay this is how i connect the network and this this is connected over here you can see right over here so now again go to double command d no not command d the super key actually right sorry for that and install arch linux <clears throat> and this will open the color maps by the way uh, the initial boot takes a little bit of time this will run right and now i want american english right and next and this is the installer now this will install the bspwm with a pre configured uh, basic structure like this one and some normal basic uh, uh, you know basic applications like fay rofi polybar paru uh, your uh, or helper your helper right and kt <laughs> Uh, now it's done actually uh, what i'll do i'll do restart now right takes a bit of time but yeah and and yeah it's here right and there is a light dim right and here it is right i'll 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 just change some of these things right here and there and also in the like i'll just install some stuff but if i quickly go and enter okay yeah enter is working right so as expected right windows enter i'll just try to show you right like what i'm typing so control d you know control d just yes uh, closes it and windows enter will open it and right now i have the basic stuff and i don't think e is here no sudo oh i need to connect to the network also and this is updating right so that's it and i'll show you doing a new fetch obviously right if i'm installing an arch without doing a new fetch how can i end in the video so that's do a stuff i'll try to make a video like if i you know rise it or change a bit of hair and there i'll just make a video but that's it for this video i'll just wait for it to update now i'll just do a new fetch arch and it's using bspwm right and using advaita theme with advaita icons which i preferably don't like at all so i'll just delete that quickly i mean after this video it gets done and the terminal is kitty right and that's it that's the video but i'll install st on this and change probably if i want i can change this to dwm but Right now, I'll just test with this one. That's it. If you like the video and want, please respond. Thank you. Bye.